Are you an iPhone user and want to rain on Droid's bragging parade? Let's do some iPhone jailbreaking. This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy. Hey, welcome to App Judgment. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. Now, you may have noticed lately the attack ads Verizon Droid has launched against the iPhone. Now, as a general gadget geek, I'm pretty excited about the release of Droid. Competition in the smartphone market only makes for better products. But let's poke some holes in that ad. The elephant in the middle of the room amongst iPhone owners is the fact that the iPhone can run simultaneous apps, you can customize the system, and you can run open source software. That is, if you jailbreak your iPhone. Now, what's jailbreaking? Jailbreaking is the process of opening your iPhone or iPod Touch to run unofficial apps, bypassing Apple's distribution and approval process. The analogy is that you're freeing the iPhone from the prison walls of Apple's overbearing control. But why would you want to do that? Well, let's take Google Voice for example. While the FCC, Apple, and Google litigate their way through the court system, Google Voice is already available right now as a jailbroken application. Want to listen to Pandora music while using other applications? There's an app for that as well. How about a more useful home screen? See, these applications that manipulate the phone at a system level using open development philosophies is exactly what Droid claims only they can do. Now, Apple won't respond to these attack ads because if they had it their way, jailbreaking would be illegal. Apple doesn't like the idea of manipulating the phone's operating system and are tossing copyright claims around. But as it turns out, as of now, you bought the phone. It's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. The Electronic Frontier Foundation has a great article on Apple's claims and the various laws that may negate them. After Annie's hot app of the day, I'm going to show you step by step how to jailbreak your iPhone, preparing for our upcoming jailbroken application reviews. Hey, it's Annie with your hot app of the day. We've got actually two hot apps for today. The first is Star Wars Trench Run. Anyone who's seen Star Wars, that is to say everyone, knows the classic scene that the title refers to, and now you can experience it wherever you go. Your mission, use the force to overthrow the evil galactic empire. Using the on-screen controls, you guide your spacecraft through a series of obstacles as Darth Vader tries to gun down the Rebel Alliance. It comes with original music and sound effects from the movie that give you a pretty authentic experience. At $4.99, it's not exactly a bargain, but Star Wars fans may want to check this one out. Secondly, we have a little iPhone app parable for you. Apropos today's topic, why is it that people jailbreak their phones in spite of the potential risk? Basically, it's a way to liberate your phone from the guidelines that Apple imposes on developers and users. Now, this is Bobble Rep, a handy little app that gives you contact info for members of the United States Senate and House of Representatives. Can you spot the offensive content in Bobble Rep? We couldn't either, but it was initially rejected on the grounds that the caricatures ridicule public figures. The artist complained, and after a brief storm of bad press, Apple relented and finally approved the app. In a blog post, the artist Tim Richmond described the approval process as ludicrous and inconsistent, and a fair number of iPhone users agree. So is it enough to make you jailbreak your phone? Watch the rest of Mal's review and decide for yourself. And if you want to make an impact online, GoDaddy.com has exactly what you need. .com names as low as $1.99, plus world-class hosting, fast and easy website builders, and much, much more. Support App Judgment and use the code JUDGE8 at checkout to get 10% off your order. Now back to Mal for the rest of your jailbreak lesson. All right, so to start things off, back up your iPhone or iPod Touch. If anything goes wrong at this point, the easy fix is going to be to restore your phone to its pre-jailbroken state. Now, make sure iTunes is up to date and download Black Rain, which you can find at blackrain.com. The I in Rain replaced with a 1. Black Rain is a software crowbar that's going to manipulate the software's operating system. At the time of this recording, I'm running iTunes 9.0.2. Black Rain Release Candidate 3 and iPhone OS 3.1.2. Now, connect your phone or iPod to your computer and launch Black Rain. You're going to get this basic window that simply says, Make it rain. Nice touch. Go ahead and click on that button. Your phone will now enter recovery mode and you'll get a brief image of Geohot, creator of Black Rain. Cheesy? Yeah, maybe a little. But we're here to praise the genius of his coding, not his design aesthetics, because you're just about done. The phone is now going to reboot. When it does, find the Black Rain application on your springboard. Launch Black Rain. 
You're now going to be presented with the option to install three applications, Cydia, Rock, and Icy. Select Cydia and Rock. Now Icy is a phone unlocker. Install at your own risk, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to stick to jailbreaking. Now click install. What you've just installed are essentially two new app stores. Once installed, reboot your phone and you're done. That's it. This has been less of a how-to tutorial and more of a demonstration of how easy it is to jailbreak your phone nowadays. I recommend you immediately download IntelliScreen, Backgrounder, and SB Settings. Now, there's a few things you should keep in mind when jailbreaking your phone. You're voiding your warranty. Don't take your jailbroken phone or iPod to the Genius Bar unless you want to be laughed out of the store. Now, luckily, this isn't a physical tab you're permanently breaking. If you do need your device service, simply restore your device to its pre-jailbroken state. Don't upgrade the device's firmware without checking the BlackRain website for compatibility. You may have to restore your phone or hold off on upgrading altogether. Install one application at a time and check to make sure everything's running okay. After jailbreaking, there's nothing you want to do more than load up your device with awesome apps. But remember, these are unmonitored applications. Be safe and use common sense. There's a bug going around lately called iPhone slash privacy A that's wreaking havoc on jailbroken iPhones. Luckily, in order for that to affect you, you will have needed to install a Unix tool called SSH. If you don't know what it is, don't install it. If you have a need for it, use some common sense. Change the default password. Also, keep in mind that a lot of the more useful applications are system manipulators, so get ready for a lot of soft resets. So that's it. Now, I stress the jailbreak at your own risk aspect, not to scare you out of it, but really just to remind you that you've just eliminated a layer of security by bypassing Apple's approved apps. Join us at our forums at revision3.com slash appjudgment or our Facebook page at facebook.com slash appjudgment and tell us some of your favorite jailbroken applications. We're gonna be reviewing these apps in upcoming episodes, so there's no better way to discover safe and awesome apps than through word of mouth in a community you trust. I'll see you soon.